Hey there, fellow zombie hunters. Jaxel here. It uh, welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha Fourteen. It uh, we've got an airdrop, and I did say that I wanted to get the airdrop with you folks. And seeing how I am only getting one a week, um, close that up. I did mark the airdrop on my map as best as I can. It doesn't look like it's going to be too far away either. Uh, if I can see the parachute canopy from here. Uh, that's not too bad, so I should be able to grab this pretty easily. I don't know uh, how I am for inventory space. I'm not too bad. I was doing a bunch of inventory management uh, uh, when this airdrop uh, started, so I was just trying to get things cleaned up for the next episode, and lo and behold, uh, well, I have an airdrop, so... Here we go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this airdrop is going to be worth my while. Um, now, something I was considering doing before we do this, let's take a look at um, the scavenging. Oh, nice. I see. I like how they've added this to it. Uh, I'm going to spend one point in that. And then... That should get me my quality Joe perk. Let's buy that. So, and what do I need? 60 points in scavenging for the next one. So that's uh, not going to be spent. I still have 76 points, but as far as right now, we're going to go with that. I'm not going to spend any more points right now. I did want the quality Joe perk, hoping that it's going to bump up what I get from this airdrop. Uh... But I don't know how that works, if it's already a predetermined crate or if it comes to when I'm opening the crate. If somebody knows, that'd be great to know. Um, it's, I think it's just over this hill. I'm hoping. Come on. I don't see it down there. And I don't see it over on this side. So it's got to be a little bit further. Well, I know at least I'm heading in the right direction. Of course, at least this isn't like random gen where most of my good air or most of my airdrops seem to fall in the burn biome. Pain in the ass. There it is. I can see it right now. I I miss so many airdrops in my uh, in my previous let's play because of uh, location. Uh, I'd have them fall in. Like, if I was in the wrong area at the wrong time, I had so many of them fall in, in, in the burn biome. It was not cool. All right, let's, let's hope we get something good. Um, well, only one thing that I really needed. So, a rocket launch barrel. Um, we already had these, I think. Yep, and the slugs, a new recipe unlocked, good, good. Okay, so I got a couple recipes. Um, yeah, you can see I was, I was in the middle of doing some stuff here. I did not know, I wouldn't normally be running around with, uh, with office furniture on me, so. But let this one here, let's read this, and let's find out where this treasure is. I can hear you coming, woman. I got 50 bolts with me, so that should be enough to get me where I'm going here. So, with any luck, I don't know how many shotgun rounds. I have no shotgun rounds. That's what's in the actual shotgun. Um, I have one. <laughs> and 13 rounds in my handgun. You know what? I can make that work. So, sorry, folks. So the treasure is over this way. So let's let's head that way and let's quickly try and dig that up. I'll have to make a shovel while I'm doing this, but oh, chicken, chicken. Where'd he go? There, yeah, I see him. I see him. He's up over here. Come on, chicken. Where'd you go? Why do you keep running from me? Oh, let me guess. He ran right past the zombie. Oh, whatever. Stupid chicken. 
I, I, I hate the chicken. Uh, as much as they are, uh, I love them for the feathers that you get from them. Uh, they are a pain in the ass once they get into long grass. <coughs> I would be doing some hunting right now, but uh, being that I don't have uh, a lot of ammo with me, I'm going to save that for for the uh, the prospects of being overrun. If uh, not a lot of ammo means not a lot of opportunity to save my ass, so we'll take everything we can get along the way here, though, that's easy. Like the bird's nest, like I just took. And, yep, well, let's keep on going. Oh, I'm hoping that this, uh, this treasure chest that I find... Oh, I said I wasn't going to attack animals, but here I am. I may as well... I'm here, and it was right beside me, so. And I am trying to get myself ready for the, uh, I'm going to need a shovel, most likely. So can I make a shovel? I can't make an iron one, but I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to resort to making a stone one, it looks like. Do I have plant fibers? Uh, I have enough plant fibers. And I have... Uh, I'll collect another stone probably along the way as I get closer. Nope, oh, another bird's nest. One egg. <sighs> I was hoping for some feathers. Come on. Because as soon as I get the uh, opportunity to start making steel arrowheads, uh, I will be definitely... Um, steel arrowheads is... And I have gunpowder and duct tape and whatnot. The explosive crossbow rounds are going to definitely, uh, definitely take effect. Oh, I shouldn't have done it that way. I was trying to be cheeky. Uh, I should have just shot her. Now I can use the hammer. Did that kind of in reverse. That was my own fault. All right, so we're getting closer here. Do I have the stuff to make a stone shovel? Uh, what do I need still? Oh, I don't have any wood. Really? Well, that's kind of dumb. I need to get some wood. And I think there's a... Oh, that gives wood, doesn't it? Yep, yeah, there we go. And just a little bit off on that stone shovel. There we go. So I can make a stone shovel now. Perfect. So let's make the stone shovel. It should be a decent quality to get me through this, so... Oh, and uh, of course I'm hungry, so let's eat up. I really wasn't uh, planning on coming out here. I did have the pickaxe, so I probably could have just dug in with the pickaxe. So, but you know what? Let's do it with a shovel. It's fine. All right, that treasure's got to be coming up here pretty darn quick here. From what I've seen in other people's videos, uh, it's not necessarily exactly where you think it's going to be. So, is it on top of this hill? Really? Kind of funny. Or over top of the hill. Oh, where am I looking at here? Oh, this is that other town. Nice, this is the new town they added. Oh, come on. Really, you really just can't leave me alone. I'm having some fun here. Doing a little treasure hunting, and you just have to get in the way. Stupid biatch. Okay, so where is this treasure? I gotta go down the hill now. How close am I to it on the map? Okay, I'm getting really close. Okay. <laughs> now then, oh, was that an, anything else around here close by? No, no, no. Okay, apparently I'm going to need to uh, to make a bit of inventory space here. So let's get rid of that. Let's... Oh, shit. I just saw a dog. I know I saw a dog. I don't know where the hell he went. And that makes me a little bit nervous. There it is, right there. Oh, you bitch. I got him. I, of course, I attracted his attention, and I don't know how good of an idea that was. 
Where is he? There he comes. Oh, shit. Okay, we got him. Good. Whew. I do have bandages, so that's not a bad thing. Oh, quit rolling down the freaking hill. Okay, so we don't need these plant fibers. I don't need the nails. These cans I can scrap. That I can scrap. I have plenty of that shit now. Uh, what else did I have? Rotten meat. Don't need that. Okay. So, where is this treasure? Looking to me like it's it's uh, going to be right here at the edge of this town. Frig off. Let me just find the damn treasure. <coughs> Excuse me. So, it's right in this area here. Whoa, of course there's a cop. And me without a lot of ammo. Okay, let's get this figured out here. I'm going to have to uh, do a bit of work to get this to happen, it looks like. So, let's get rid of the fat bastard that keeps walking up to me here. Where'd he go? Where are you, you fat bastard? Okay, come on, come on. Guess you need another bolt. I did, oh, I missed. Oh. oh, man. He's not dying as easily as I was hoping. Oh, what a waste of rounds. This is going to make it tricky, tricky, tricky. Don't need no rotten sandwich. Piss off. Okay, we're going to move that. Okay. Um, man, this is this is going to suck. I can see that already. Okay, let's, let's see if we can bean that cop from here. There's one shot. There's another. Nice. Just above his head. Seems to be getting it. There's another. I'm going to blow up now. Okay, the cop's not an issue now. Good. Let's finish this fucker off. One second, folks. Okay, folks. Sorry about that. I just had to uh, talk to my daughter really quick. Alright, that's a nothing. Let's get rid of this other pain in the ass that's starting to walk over this way. And hopefully... Oh, she's not dead, of course. Now, let's take a look at her map while we've got a quick moment here. Yeah, and it's looking like they, she, they buried the treasure under the road. So, I'm going to just start digging right here. This is going to take a while. I wish I'd brought a shovel with me. Of course, I wasn't planning on doing this. Not at all. Well, this shovel really sucks. Come on. Okay, that's down to rock. Okay. So, am I not right in my assessment of it being... Okay, so it could be anywhere in this little clump. Well, let's try and get right on the map. Right on... See, it's showing me in the road... 
This is a gonna be annoying. I can see that already. Let's. Uh, I did bring some drinks at least. So let's drink up. Uh, scrap that. And let's try the pickaxe instead. See how well it works. No, see the shovel is going to be better. Damn it. This may be a, end up being a bust uh, as far as getting the treasure. Because I don't know how well I want to, uh, to keep playing for this. Because it's showing me on the map. I'm right on it right now. And, well, it's a radius thing. Do I find it? You know, there's a little bit of a, a weird uh, glitch in the ground there. So I'll try digging that up. And nope. Almost should get some freaking dynamite and blow the hole up. Maybe I'd find it quicker. <laughs> Probably blow the whole damn thing up. Knowing my luck. Okay. Let's uh, let's hop out of the hole we've made here. Take a look at this map again. So, it's got to be under the damn road. So, I'm going to get uh, facing here and just take a look. That's what my guess is. It's going to be under the road. And I may be totally wrong on that. I'm sure I'm going to find out quickly here, though. As soon as I pass by it, well, I'll know. This is not looking promising. Come on. So, like, I'm right near it. So wherever this thing happens to be, Oh, come on, don't get hungry on me now. So I may have to go do a quick loot run here in one of these houses just to find uh, something. If it's across the street, I'm going to be fucking choked. It's looking like it's going to be across the damn street. Right by that light post, probably. Okay, there's stone. What am I hitting? Really? Okay, well, let's let's hop out of here. Come on. Really? Come on. There we go. So, seriously? Don't be a gimp dart. So, I made it across the street here. Heat stroke. Awesome. Haven't experienced that in a while. Um, we don't need the plant fibers. I really don't need this furniture. Oh, man. This is going to be a pain. I can already see this. So, when I turn, this shows me standing right on it. So, you know what? I'm going to try again right here. And just hope. Okay, so that's stone. My graphics, there's a weird, uh, uh, like water effect almost to the dirt now. I don't, I don't like it. I'm gonna have to figure out what that's doing that and uh, remove that because it's making me feel like I'm on a fucking acid trip every time I play the game now. <clears throat> Not fun. Come on. That's stone. So, this is all stone underneath here. Interesting. This would be an interesting place to build. Because you're already at stone. And, well, how handy is it to be in stone? Uh, very. Either stone or concrete. One of the two. I think it's, I'm guessing it's stone. Man, I'm going to have real issue if something starts attacking me here. Um... I'm going to drink that right now. That will cool me off considerably. The tea does work. So I only have three of them, so I have to be careful here. And what am I wearing for clothes? Too much. 
So my temperature is going down right now. Um, but this clothing here is insulation plus one, plus two. So we're going to get rid of the shirt and we'll get rid of the pants. Um, okay, that should be good for now. This, this treasure chest is really going to piss me off, I think. So I may have to come back to it and not deal with it right now. Because all I'm finding right now is one layer deep of dirt. And it's all on stone. So, And I'm starving. So that's not a good thing. Like, really? Am I that far off? Like, it's it's got to be under this under the road. It's got to be. So, it's almost like they want me to dig around under the road here. So, I'm going to. Let's dig a little down here. Let's do a little bit further down. I honestly didn't think it was going to be that hard to find. But, I guess I was fucking wrong. So, like I said, this may be something I have to come back to. I think it will end up being something I come back to. And, and then when I have a better shovel too. Because this is retarded. And this is not an area I want to get stuck in with, uh, with a zombie. This is death if I get stuck. So, oh, there it is. Yay! Oh, that's nice. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Um, I'll keep the dirt because I'm going to be building more farms. Uh, let's read that schematic. And we're going to read the herbal antibiotic recipe. And another quest note. Interesting. Which one is this one? Uh, it's a Crazy Jake one, so the Crazy Jake clan, I don't do theirs, and I'm not going to do theirs until the next Horde night, because it's probably going to be something stupid, like kill a bunch of zombies that I have nothing to do with yet, because they're not around me. Oh, there's what I'm looking for, the way out. Ah, okay. So, as far as not finding the treasure, well, I friggin' found it. Yay! And being that it is getting later in the day, you know, there's the water plant, um... I am going to take a quick run around the town. I know it's probably not a smart idea. I need to make some room, though. Uh, you know, um, oh, I'm so hungry right now, too. This is not good. Yeah. So what do we have? Um, besides death, if I start playing around too much. Okay, the popping, the, the, the passing gas, we're going to steer clear of because I know that there's dogs there. Uh, will this dodge through over this way? Stay away the, from the front of the, uh, the front of the church, or the front of the passing gas there. So there's cemetery. Nice. I'd that actually wouldn't, I thought about making a cemetery as my base because of the walls that are around it. So I don't know. That might be a thing. I might think of that. Um, for when I come here and loot. Okay, we gotta be careful. Okay, so that's a sh Oh, shit. Fucking dogs. There's another one. Oh, and I missed! Run! And there's another one coming. Oh, God, 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 God. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I hit him, but I missed. No! Oh, my God, run! Run! Whew! Damn! Damn! Yeah, fucking goodbye is right. Holy shit. Well, there's the working stiffs that I was looking for. I knew there was one in town, but... 
Well, we're gonna. I gotta. I gotta clear out. Uh, I. I really need to get in the working stiffs because I. I have a feeling. My calipers are in there. And I, there's probably a bit of food. Oh my god. Hit him center mass and be done with it. I only got 10 rounds of that left too. Shit. Okay. Okay, let's 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 cap this fucker in the head with the pickaxe. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. I got yeah yeah. Oh, okay, we uh, have to leave. We are not getting into the working stiffs, I don't think, right now. Oh, yeah, everyone's attracted to me right now, and I have no ammo. Yeah, we'll come back. We're going to make our way home. Uh, I got I got the treasure. Uh, I got a sniper stock. I'm going to have to call that good. I, I really, it's not worth packing it in here uh, just to uh, to come and die. I'm not going to do that. I, I will come back and loot that on uh, probably my next, the next one of the next videos. Maybe not the next one because I kind of wanted to do the police station today, but that ain't happening now. Um, I'm keeping the tin cans for the candy. Uh, I want to make some more landmines. And those seem to be the only ones that I'm going to be able to make because of uh, the duct tape restriction and the hubcap restriction because the hubcap mine is my favorite uh or pardon me the air filter mine and i don't you don't tend to get a lot of them so oh man these pois definitely have a lot of uh a lot of inhabitants now which is good before the alpha 13 something i think it was 0.4 or whatever i don't know if it was the whole thing uh, but it, you tend to lose a lot of, uh, there was no, there was no zombies at the point of interest. None. So it made it way too easy just to come in, loot and run. Now they've made it. So you want to go loot something. I'll look at that. I wanted to go loot a, the working stiffs and I got surrounded. So I had, I'm glad I checked that back alley cause I was going to be cocky and just try and take it out. But there were cops coming from behind too and no food uh no inventory space it was not going to be a very lucrative run oh but then again i did get uh another almost 80 arrows or feathers for arrows at least so those are going to come in real handy especially since how i'm almost out of crossbow bolts now uh well i do have some more left at the base that i've put for reserve but there's only, I think, 50 sitting at my base, which realistically, I started this loot run with 50, and I'm down to 10. So, okay, I need to drink some go juice here. There we go. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, at least I got the airdrop. That was one thing. I got my airdrop, and I did find that treasure. So... And that was a fluke, because the only reason I had it with me is because I was doing inventory management. So that's not too bad. Uh, otherwise, I would have never went for it, and I would have never found the town. So, got the town. Now I know what's there. Um, got a new quest, which, that's okay. I don't mind those. I haven't really been able to do them. I did the one and failed it, but I think there's a sports bag on the ground over here. Yep, and it's untouched. Nice. Um, well, nothing that, that I really need. Eh, the food I'll eat. And that's enough. I'm not going to worry about the shotgun barrel or anything because I think the one that I have is, uh, yeah, it's better anyway, so screw it. It can stay in there. So we make our way home and we're good to go. So this uh, this wasn't as uh, entertaining of a video as I hope, but no, it was better than not. So I made it I made it out alive, which I didn't think I was going to. Thank God for those first aid kits I made. 
Uh, I didn't think that that was going to happen. I honestly thought I was going to die. Um, but I, I survived the dog attack, which if you watched my last videos, the last, the first dog attack that I had was, uh, my death. So no death this time. And we're going to roll right along and we'll be going back there, but just only when I'm actually armed because I really wasn't planning on doing that run. So let's drink another tea. And I got to remember that it's warmer there too. So I'm going to have to uh, choose my attire properly. I probably will be uh, not wearing pants or anything like that when I go. Uh, there's no point. Or I'll make a drop chest. That would probably be a better idea. So let's get in here and get some food. The garden, I did finish my garden. I don't think I showed any of you that. Uh, I did put in the extra row, so now when I get my corn going, it'll be two rows of corn, and uh, my potatoes to get them caught up, probably two rows of potatoes once I get that finished, and I won't be needing to do as much coffee, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Till I get the numbers uh, where I want them, I'll be doing mass runs of, you know, like I did the coffee here. The next time, I, as soon as I get enough potato, this will be filled with potato, so I can have the seeds and have the actual food, so... Same with corn. This will get filled right in with corn. Goldenrod, I'm not so worried about. And uh, it is what it is. What I've done in here, I put my cement mixer out finally. And I've started moving everything into these crates here. And keeping everything, trying to keep everything nice and tight for work for workspace. But uh, I don't really like the placement of my forge. But it wouldn't let me place it against the walls when I first started. So, I don't know. Kind of weird. Is what it is. Anyhow, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go in and eat some food, and I'm probably gonna call this video here, and I'll say thank you all for watching. Oh, it only stacks in fifty now. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna drop the meat off, and let's eat some food. So I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Um, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, I'm really appreciating the comments that I'm getting. It's 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 good to be heard and 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 uh, have people chatting with me. I really do enjoy it. it. It's it's nice to have happen. For a long time, I was all by myself, and well, now I've got people talking to me. So that's that's really cool. Keep it up. I really enjoy it. So uh, again, thanks for watching, and peace out.